I'm writing a paper on FL Studio for a class I'm in, music. The first place I look for information is the website because I need more information to to talk about the topic on FL Studio. I began my research process by going to flstudio.com because that's the main source of information where I can get PDF files and tutorials. I use the search terms FL Studio because that's the topic I am discussing. I choose this link because they are the creators of FL Studio. I will save this source because it can come in handy when I have to cite my information at the end of my um, presentation. I keep up with the information I located by saving the links and and printing <laughs> printing the information. I keep up with my sources. Um, I change in my search my search terms to I changed my my search terms to how to operate FL Studio because it might show me more details about the program. The next place I look for information is YouTube just to get a more visual concept. evaluate my sources to see the, um, the date of see how how relevant it is and see um, the see how and see um how 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 great of a source it is like reliable how reliable it is to others Okay, so my topic is drug testing athletes um, dealing with probably every sport um, for my English class. First, I'm going to go to Google Chrome because that's a good internet browser to go to because it make Explorer isn't that great and it might shut down on me. And I'm going to go to Google first. So I'm going to type in google.com. Type in drug testing athletes. It gives me suggestions like in high school, essay, articles. I'm going to go to articles. And let's just see what more, like what more information they can give me on it. And the first one I see is um, scholarly articles for drug testing athletes, articles, let's click on that. And I see NCAA, study of substance use and abuse habit, habits of college student athletes. Um, also, I'm going to open up a Word document so I can put all my information on there. I don't usually um, cite my... Um, 
cite my sources until like the end. But I, I definitely uh, document them so that when it comes to citing them, I will definitely do that. I have an old paper from my one of my English classes that I use for citing. And also I have like a book at home what I use to actually cite it. So I actually read it and then interpret the um the way I cite it. So um it says it's just an article by Green Gary and some other people. <laughs> um so journals dot dot com and it shows me the objective of that article determine substance use uh, substance use of amphetamines anabolic um, steroids cocaine marijuana hallucinogens and tobacco wow I didn't know that it tests for tobacco too but it is a drug so um What do I wait for? I guess I could use from the results part since the overall response rate was. Well, no, I can't use that. Oh, I could start my paper off with the study demonstrates a wide variation of athletes. But I'm going to copy and paste it. So I can, um, kind of reword it because I don't want to plagiarize or anything like that so let's go ahead and open this up pull it to the side hmm so I demonstrates wide variation of use across the line according to the survey substance use highest on vision three athletes it says among Caucasians by examining reasons for use the study will assist professionals Hmm. Guess I'll take that paragraph and I'll paraphrase it later. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go all the way back so I won't have to look at the articles. But that's just one website I can use for getting articles off of there. Well, no, let me click on there again and then actually copy and paste the um the actual site that comes up for all of the all of my results so let me go all the way back mm, why do we drug test athletes for recreational drugs hmm that looks interesting so let me go to that one can I see a golf player and this is foxsports.com so let's just I'm just gonna copy and paste this website on Google on my um sorry on my Microsoft bird okay why do we drug test athletes for recreational drugs Week athlete. Also, every weekend athlete is is suspended for using recreational drugs. So I can actually use that just about every week. Tweet it, email box. I can use that sentence from there. Every week, uh, wait, just about every week. I forgot what I was about to write. That happens a lot. Um, just about every weekend, athlete is suspended for using recreational drugs. I 
don't think that's how you spell recreational. Recreational. Okay. So I'll use that sentence. Um, I'm going to go back to um, my search engine. Back to Google. And I'm going to uh, search something else. Why do we test athletes? Why do we drug test athletes? Oh, it has pros and cons list. I'm going to go to that one. Sports and drugs, pros and cons. Health risk. That's for good causes. I don't think that that website is useful, so I'm gonna go back. Um, why drug testing for pro ab athletes is um, essential. I'm gonna go to that that one because that looks um, looks interesting, I guess. Okay, no, I don't want to look at this one. <laughs> um, I guess that website wasn't as appealing as the other ones, so I clicked off of it. Maybe it was usable, but I didn't really read it, so I'm going to keep searching for my stuff. Student Athlete Drug Testing, the Sports Journal. Mm, it looks like an article or a journal or something okay the words are too small so I'm gonna go back and this is what I do when I research if the website something's wrong with that website I'm gonna keep it moving because there are plenty of other things on here that could give me more information Should athletes be drug tested? Debate.org. So I'm going to go to that website. And I could use um, the Georgia Southern um, website about drug testing athletes, but. I know how to navigate it, but the thing is, Google is more easier for me. But then again, it's kind of easy to get off topic with Google. Oh, this one is loaned up too slow, so I'm going to go back. I'm just going to go back in the um, search box and I'm going to delete the why do we and it leaves me with drug test athletes or I guess I can go to how do how do they drug test athletes because that could be helpful too and it's also good to um, write down I usually just write down um topics I want all my paragraphs to be about like the first paragraph would be like what exactly like we're talking about like the sports the drug testing sports athletes and stuff that whole paragraph would be about that and the second paragraph would be about um, how do they drug test athletes and so on and so on but right now I'm just you know browsing around getting information from different websites but this one is why do I mean how do they? Oh, so they um do urine or blood samples through results management processes. So I guess urine and blood sample. 
So I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna go back to my Word document and write how, and I'm just gonna put how to do it. So it's urine or blood sample. Oh, and I forgot to write down websites. So also, if I didn't write down websites, I can go back into my Google. Um, go back into the browser and click Control H, and I can find out all my websites I went to. So, I'll go ahead and copy and paste that website in front of it so I can know that that's for that one. And I go back to my Google. Hmm. So I'm gonna go back and. Oh, it says what happens at a drug test, but that's in the UK. We're gonna can I keep scrolling? Also, like a drug test um, could be given at any time. This is drug testing in sports. Drug testing can become an increasingly large part of both professional and amateur sports. An athlete can be called for drug testing at any time and not in or out of competition. Well, actually, they they um, carry out drug tests on the winning team or top three competitors. Oh, competitors, I'm sorry. Others will test by random sample from all competitors. That could be a t um, kind of like controversial, I guess. Because, I mean, why the winning teams are the top three competitors? But, I mean, I don't know. That could be very controversial I'm gonna copy and paste that part well no never mind I'll go back hmm Yeah, like articles and stuff, I can go on Google to get instead of going to the actual my Georgia Southern um, website. Testing athletes for drug use is the website I'm going to now. Tested in samples of your, it has like a bicycle on it or something. Some athletes find the temptation of performance drugs too hard to resist. Why? I'm writing a paper on Family Guy, a television show for English 1102. And I'll be using Google as my search engine. I prefer Google because um, I just find it reliable and it gives me all the sources I need most of the time. So how I start my research is I just type in the topic so for, I'll be typing in Family Guy because that's what I'll be t writing about. So I'm clicking on imdb.com. It's a website used to like uh, basically giving the whole description of the show when it was made the first premiere information that I'll need 
So what I look about on the website is the subtitle of the episode I'm looking for, and the description of the show, and the main characters. Also the producers and the executives. So I can talk about what what like how this started and how this came into part. So I'll save this source by copying the website into my Word document so I can later use a citation generator. So after copy and pasting a lot of this information, I usually just paraphrase what I see or summarize to avoid plagiarism. Next thing I'll go to is probably Wikipedia. It's known to be like like a not really a reliable source, but some of this I only really depend on information I already know, which will expand of like to my prior knowledge. If I don't really understand anything from Wikipedia, then I won't put it on my paper. Sometimes I will see the information on Wikipedia and then try to put in my own words to avoid plagiarism. After Wikipedia, for this topic I would usually go to I will go to YouTube to look at some videos um, to see how like how how the show is how like it's set up the runtime and if there is a certain pattern in every single episode so I can further analyze how the show is conducted So that's for the show itself. After that, I'll probably find another article talking about since this is since the show is about comedy, I'll probably find um an article on comedy from like a reliable source such as New York Times or another um reliable source. I do this because um, the more reliable the source, the more like credible the paper is. Because if you have a source that isn't really credible, then it weakens your paper. So after using that source, I usually find um, like another source that can uh, disagree with my claim. I do this because we were told about this in English 1101 that doing this can also strengthen your paper, finding arguments that oppose what you're saying.
So after like conducting all this research for my citations, what I'll do is I'll plug in all of the sources into a citation generator. and then copy and paste it into a into my word document only thing i would need to fix is the indenting cuz usually it doesn't paste as well just copying and pasting into a word document Also, would look for sources like use sources that would be recommended by my professor on a rubric. If I can't find information I need from these sources, then I just go t to other reliable sources. I think I recall that we were told that if it says .org, it's more reliable. And to always look for biased information if it's trying to sell a product or persuade the audience in a certain way. Since the purpose of this essay is to inform then I would have to use a source that isn't really uh, citing one side more than the other Another topic of my paper is to how does it relate to our generation. So in order to do that, I would have to find information on our current generation, which is the millennials. So what I'll type in is millennial generation characteristics on Google. and I'll be clicking eight millennials traits you should know about I just prefer this because it has a list so it's more e easier to break down rather than just like a block of paragraphs and trying to uh, extract information from that so what I see here are like bullet points characteristics of the generation and from this I try to connect it to the television show and I find similarities with them and this I do this so it can further strengthen strengthen my argument that the show relates to our generation So I usually jot down this information, write it, and then write in my own words so I can type into the Word document. So then I don't risk plagiarism. If 
for example, a word multitaskers, I'd probably use like the ability to do multiple things at one time instead of using the exact wording. This isn't really my uh, my go-to, but I was told in my 1102 class to use Google Scholar. Haven't tried it. Um, I don't think it'll work for this topic though, because it's a television show, and I feel like Google Scholar will be too much of an intellectual source. So I would switch back to regular Google. Another reason why I use Google is because I feel like it does a good job of showing the websites that are visited most frequently. And I feel like that's the most reliable source like how other people are using it, a ton of other people. I feel that Wikipedia might not be reliable at all times because anyone can post new information, but um, that inaccurate information can't stay there for a long time. And that's what I understand from it. So another thing I would usually do is sort of a bad habit, but I would type in, um, I like type in Family Guy, the show that I'm that I'm using, and then I'll go into a source and use some information with from that into my paper without citing it, um, just in case it is inaccurate. I don't know what I do. It's a bad habit. 